Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> this is like my third or fourth time trying to film this, so um, I am going to break this up into multiple videos. I'll have to anyway, probably. Don't even know if I can do it all tonight, but this is going to be a Joanne's haul. And you're going to have to forgive me because I'm not in a great mood. Uh, a lot happened today. Can't go into it. Um, still cat sitting. We might get interrupted because uh, Caster Cat has been very curious and investigating. And uh, hopefully he's done up here now. But um, anyway, he goes home tomorrow. And my son in particular is really going to miss him. I'm going to miss him except that I'm not going to miss my cat, Callie, chasing him. Anyway, I digress. Let's go right into Joanne's. Um, oh, no, let's not. First of all, I've been spending a lot of money these last um, last few days. Let me put me on, I guess. Ugly me. Oops, sorry. Just broke you off my, my thingy. Oops, up close. <laughs> yeah, I look awful. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, I've been spending a lot of money. But I'm going to stop. Not completely. I decided that instead of going on a freeze, I'm going to go on a $100 a month budget for all crafty things, um, including my business, uh, except for as far as products are concerned, not for all business expenses, but for product expenses. And that starts tomorrow. So... I just want to make sure I had enough of everything like I don't already. Mm, but um, I did spend. I spent online, which I don't have those orders all in yet. I do have some. And um, I went to both Joanne's and Tuesday morning yesterday. So I have to share with you this evening or tomorrow morning, whichever it ends up being, a Joanne's in-store haul, pretty large one. Uh, not as big a Tuesday morning haul and a scrapbook.com haul and one thing that had been back ordered from Michaels which you've seen before but I'll show you again I'll try and do scrapbook.com and Michaels together okay so now with that said back to Joanne's bye okay guys um, first of all I found these Tim Holtz ideology um, I have to I'm sorry I'm, not sure about the lighting in here and the angle because I was using my camera and I actually filmed it already and um, YouTube won't let me combine videos so I don't know what the deal is with it um, and I tried movie maker but that doesn't seem to work with my camera videos only with my phone videos so I'm switching back to phone and I'm, I'm sure at some point I'm gonna run out of um, data let me try and move you up here a little bit. I don't know. That's not better. I'm sorry. Alright, well, we'll just stick with the original angle. And do the best we can. Okay. These are called Clippings stickers. They're Tim Holtz ideology and they're a neutral. And they have all kinds of cool sayings and things and some numbers and just some words and like dictionary stuff. Um, I don't know if you can even see this. Let me turn this light down. I think we'll turn it off actually. Is that any better? I don't know. I can see you can see the colors better. Um, so anyway, yeah, there's four stick sheets of those and I thought they were really pretty and very vintage looking and would be nice with vintage colors. Um, those were normally $2.99, but they were on sale for $2.09, and I got 20% off of that as well. And I also got the metallic stickers, which also has four sheets. Now the thing with these um, is every sheet has the same sayings, but um, one sheet is black with gold, white with gold, black with silver, white with silver. I don't know if you can even see see that. Yeah. 
Um, but they say, like, beautiful day, hello, friend, make a wish. And I am not very good at stamping. I'm going to practice at it. But, um, so when I'm having a bad day stamping things out, I'll tend to use stickers. And I needed more word stickers. So that's what I got. And then this one is called Chit Chat. It's also Tim Holtz Ideology. Now these, uh, there's 1,088 stickers. So these are just individual words, and there are multiples of some of them, like we and us and the and there and things like that. Um, I guess that's one page. So there's one, two, three. I think there's the three white sheets and three black with white print sheets. So, lots of stickers, and they're in this spiral bound little thing. So, I guess you could reuse the spiral and the covers at some point if you wanted to. Anyway, that one was a little more. That was regular $4.99 on sale for $3.49, and then I got 20% off of that also. I splurged and got two magazines. This one is Papercraft Essentials, and it has this uh, stamp wreath with a bow and some leaves and it's happy birthday lovely have a beautiful day uh, it also has an embossing folder with leaves and vines and things which is very cute and a and a border and then it has a little die cut here um, with like a scallop and a bow and a flower and a leaf that go with the flower and leaves over here so I'm hoping there's inspiration in it you can't really see the cover of the um, magazine which is my only gripe with how they've packaged this but um anyway and these are i believe from the uk since they're in pounds um 16.99 pound but they are 12.99 us plus tax and they um you do not get a discount on um magazines so the 20 percent off does not apply to magazines which i knew this one is from Simply Cards Paper Crown. It's called Build a Bouquet Outline Dies and Stamp Set. Here is the stamp set. It's so cute. It has a vase and a jar, um, some flowers. That one actually looks like a dahlia. Some other bouquets. It says Birthday Wishes, Having a Have a Blooming Good Day, With Love, Heartfelt Thanks. Uh, and a bow, and then over here you get a die of the jar and the um, vase. Oh, look, there's even a little fish. Cool. And um, and a flower die cut. So you get three die cuts and the stamp set. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking that'll be real cute, and I'm hoping they have some instruction and inspiration inside as well. well I got that. Then, um, since you're seeing this mess here, I'll go through this next. I went in the jewelry section, guys. Um, I had been looking online at Jesse James Beads, and I keep getting emails. They were having a white bead sale. Now, today, they're having a blue bead sale. But I always remember in the back of my head that I see these things at Joann's, and so I stopped in at Joann's on Thursday afternoon, and sure enough... They still have design elements there, which I like these little design elements because they're not as large as some of the other uh, Jesse Jane beads. And I don't go for super big beads usually. Um, I like them 10 and 12 millimeters about as big as I like normally, unless I'm using it as a focal piece. Um, but these were regularly $5.49 on sale 50% off all their strung and packaged beads not necessarily findings and stuff but beads were 50% off I don't know I think that sale is still going on but I'm not sure how long and then I got 20% off that so I really got like 70% off so I thought that was a great deal I couldn't I couldn't pass it up this is a repurchase I bought the one that's called vanilla sugar before I like the neutral colors um, the sort of browns and creams and but it's got metallics in too silvers and things so I have another one of these I actually bought in December of 2016 
that I haven't used yet. So I'm going to probably make a project with those soon. I only bought one of these. It's called Alfresco. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know, guys. I can't get this angle right. I bought it for these blingy, sparkly things in here mostly. But it's got other pretty beads. It's got some real stone beads. Um, some ceramic. Some glass. And other acrylic beads. Um, and I never used to be big into acrylic beads. But there are some beautiful ones. And they're all right for things like for like purse charms or lightweight stuff. But um, I'm still not. I'm a gemstone girl and crystals and check glass. Those are my three things that I really like. Um, but there are some beautiful acrylic beads. So I'm not going to knock them either. And I actually bought some vintage acrylic stuff years ago. And I haven't used it yet. <laughs> anyway. I got two of these. These are called Shanghai Express. They're sort of peachy, creamy colors, a little bit orangey, but I think they're beautiful. I love these findings in here, which could be used for earring findings, or I could hook four of them together and make a bracelet with some beads in between or something. I don't know yet, but um, I just love the colors, the warmth of them, and I'm usually not a gold person, but that's just beautiful. So I got those. They were all 274 less 20%. I got this strand, the, now see, these are resin, um, rhinestone resin beads, 7 inch, and there's 18 beads on it. It was, it's very sparkly, so you can't see the sparkle with the light off, hang on, but that is just too bright, that's not gonna, I don't know, can you see the sparkle at all? I can't, I can't see it in the camera. Anyway, they're very glittery and sparkly. Um, anyway, um, regular $5.99, I got them for $2.99 less 20%, and there's 18 beads. Um, let's see, oh, this is the Jesse James bead strand, too. I really kind of in the mood to shop. I should go back out and shop, but <laughs> cause I'm kind of down. I should have got more than one of these. I love this strand. I don't know if you can see it, but look how gorgeous and sparkly. And these, I had gotten some in rectangles from Bead Box Bargains or in my Bargain Bead Box, and then I bought more from Bead Box Bargains. But it's like sand and ocean, and I'm not a real ocean person, but I do love this strand. Sorry. Gorgeous. And you get 19 beads. Now these are usually $9.99. They were on sale for half off and then 20% um, off that. Oh, guys. Caster Kitty's on the prowl. One second. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Kitty problems. I didn't want him to knock over some stuff he did this morning when I was filming. It was disastrous. Anyway, um, I had bought these before in multicolor. They're slider beads. Um, normally you could use them like for, you know, a bracelet or something. But I got them the last time to use as centers for butterflies, uh, the body. I still may, but they had them in all turquoise this time and I couldn't resist. They had them in the other color too, but I didn't. I almost bought another strand. I thought, no, I already have one of those. I'll just get this one. Regular $6.49. Half off was $3.24. And then 20% off of that. And there's 26 beads on the strand. I have to count, guys, because I have to put all this stuff in my inventory. And then I have to take it out when I use it. I got I thought these were gorgeous. And I thought these would be wonderful for um I don't know which way to go here. For charms. And they're very lightweight for earrings. But they're a real light pink with gold. And a bling bling in the middle. These were regular $7. I got them for $3.50. Less 20%. Okay. Larger version of it. These normally were $9.99 on sale for $4.99. There's only four on it though. 
These I would not use for earrings. These are heavy, but they're gorgeous. They're a pink enamel on a gold tone metal with a bling in the middle. So they're pretty. They'd be a nice focal point piece for a necklace or on the front of an album or something. And these daisies I thought were adorable too. They're white with a pink center. Um, and they were regular $6.99 on sale for $3.49. Um, less 20%, but there's only five on there also. And th But these are lightweight. They could be used for earrings or something, but I don't plan on using any of those for earrings, really. Then I, I love Southwestern stuff. Southwestern United States and um, I always have ever since I, I went to Albuquerque years ago for work and Arizona um, I've always loved the colors the coral and the turquoise and so forth and um, I've always loved blues and turquoises and things and pinks as well but um, so I got these they're very lightweight these were regularly $6.99 on sale for $3.49 and you do get seven pieces and um, so I'm thinking they would be nice as an embellishment as well or in jewelry I don't know yet and then um, the last bit of jewelry I got jewelry stuff is these <laughs> these cute flip-flops I live in the summertime in the house I'm in my bare feet now um, when I go out in the morning to water plants, I'm in flip-flops. Um, I'm in flip-flops usually in the garden, unless um, I know I'm really going to be digging or getting dirt real dirty, then I put sneakers on, but flip-flops. Um, and mine are not as cute as this by any stretch of the imagination. Anyway, these were regularly $6.99, which I think is really a lot of money. On sale for $3.49, you get four pieces, and of course, I got the 20% off. So that is the jewelry stuff, and I'm going to just move them over here. Then, of course, I had to go visit Miss Sparkle and Company because while I was looking for um, um, Wendy Harvey, had told me because one of my, um, my loaded bag, the pocket popped off and I said anybody have any suggestions on what adhesive to use to stop that from happening so she suggested the Miss Sparkle and Company Target and not Target um, Joann's um, I think she said the Joann's anyway the double-sided tape they only had it in the half inch and I was looking for quarter inch but I figured I can use this and cut pieces or I have quarter inch from somewhere else which you'll see later but I got two of those so they were $1.99 each. And then um, I got a free other item because it was buy two, get one free. So this is a sticky note dispenser. There's six and a half yards of sticky notes on each, um, in each color. And they're like neon bright colors. And I thought, what a cool idea. I've never seen that before. And I use sticky notes all the time in my planner and stuff. So I essentially got that free. I know these are a repurchase, but I got the brights, what they call it primary, pastel, and neutrals. These are two by three inch, so these could be used as a mat on top of a pocket letter sheet or on a card or anything. Um, I have to, honestly, I can't find where my other ones are. I think I might know, but I'm not sure. So I have to find them because I want to put them in the same place and then make a note where they are. Um, okay, so then I got two washies. This is a repurchase. It's silver and gold. This is happy birthday and polka dots, and I'm not sure if that's a repurchase. I don't think so, but it might be. Oh, hang on. Caster wants to meet you all. Hello, Caster. Hello. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> he wants to get up and meet you. He's a big kitty. But he's only probably about a year and a half old. <laughs> and he's very curious. And he wants to be with me right now. But he wants to be up. He always wants to be up. So that was Castor. That's my daughter's cat. <laughs> uh, let's see. What did I get free for that? I guess this. Which it seems to me like when I was buying these before. Which I also can't find. So they're probably with these other ones. Um, 
I couldn't find the aqua, but I might have. And they're double sided. I think that's really cool for a dollar ninety nine, and you get twenty four four by four inch sheets, and they're pretty. I like that color. Oh, he wants to come back up. No caster, not now, not now, sweetie. These were not. Oh, let me. I digress. Sorry. Back to Miss Sparkle and Company. Only pack of doilies I found. Oops. Hello. He's back. <laughs> oh, Caster. You're just so curious. You sit here with Mommy for a minute. No. No, no. Anyway, so I got the only pack they had. No, no. Come on. Go back now. Come on. You both good boy. And um, I got these two stamp packs. And I don't remember if I purchased these before. I don't think so. But this one's happy birthday, let's celebrate, time to party. I know I had the Dollar Tree one, but I don't think I had the Miss Sparkle and Company one. I might have. I don't remember this one that says, With Symphony, Sympathy. Um, thinking of you, hello, thanks, just wanted to say, that kind of thing. So anyway, yeah, that is it for Miss Sparkle and Company. Now I can get to these. Ugh. These were not in um, the, cra the paper crafting. These were on an um, end cap near the where they give sewing lessons. A big table there. And what they are is little strands of mini pearls. And I've seen people use these in their tassels. And I never have been able to find them, but now I know where they are. They had larger size, but I only wanted, like, you know, larger diameter. But I have some of those. I wanted these small ones, and they were two fifty dollars each for 10 yards. What's funny is the white and the, um, and these were not on sale, but I did get 20% off. The white and the cream, both say metallic white pearl and have the same number, which is 142-2369. So I don't know whether these cream ones were the same bright white as this and they just sat around for a long time and got yellowish but they look ivory to me I think somebody just mislabeled them and then these are metallic silver they're two and a half millimeter diameter and um, you get 10 yards of the silver as well for 250 less 20 percent um, at least I had that 20 percent coupon I don't know if that's I think that's still good till uh, tomorrow maybe I got my favorite stickles they were regularly $6.99 they were on sale for $4.89 and of course I got them for 20% off these are this is the pack that contains stardust diamond and crystal my favorite three so I use them a lot with various things oh I'm sorry I missed something in jewelry these were on clearance I panicked when I got home because I couldn't find one and I knew I had bought two. They're little tiny dream catchers in silver with a turquoise center. Uh, I'm sorry, it's more like a... I don't know what color that is. It's an enameled turquoise, I guess. Anyway, um, they were 97 cents each and they're very lightweight, so I thought they actually would make cute earrings, so I might do that with those. They might be actually for me. Now, I did get some paper. I tried really hard not to go overboard. Let me bring that up here and see if I have room to even show you. I don't know about this angle. Mm. Okay, let's see. Okay. This first paper pad I got the paper pads that were normally $14.99 to $19.99 were on sale for $9.99. I looked at a lot of them and I settled on this one, which I think is absolutely beautiful. It is called Preserved Paper by DCWV, which I understand is die cast with a view, which I never knew until watching YouTube videos. Um, and I did not cut this the last time, and my sharp scissors are downstairs, so let me see. Okay, I can actually do it. I just want to do it without ruining the paper. 
I'm going to try and hold it this way and walk you through. This sheet is gold foil with like an ivory floral on it. Gorgeous. And you get um, two of them. And this is double sided, guys. I hope you're seeing this. This is an ivory with like letters all over it on the back. Then this is um, script writing. Mm, I can't zoom on this camera. I don't know how to, on my phone. Um, and on the back is like a um, teal green floral and it's got some black writing bits on it. There's two of those. This is a wood grain with butterflies and peachy florals on two opposite corners and on the back is more script writing. It has more of an aged yellowish tone to it. it. This paper is gorgeous. This is a pink floral. A little bit, um, it has some words like stained around the edges but some words in the background. And then like postcards with flowers and birds and things and script on the back. Um, not sure if you're seeing the back's good but I don't know how else to do this. Alright, this one is all little pieces of letters throughout, um, which is not showing up very good. And then it's like a peachy with a cream polka dot and the edges look distressed with some writing. There's two of those. This one's like a ledger journal paper but with some florals and butterflies in the one side. And again, some shadow of writing on it. In the back is a, a green on green with, uh, again, shadow of some writing on it. I love this page. It's all tags. I don't know if you can see. They have the place for the hole. It's pictures or a painting of tags with butterflies and some writings on them. This is probably one of my favorite pages in this whole thing. You can cut it out. It's got like ledger sheet on the back, so I don't mind cutting that out. Um, cutting into that. that. So that makes me happy because some papers you get cutouts, and but the back is so pretty, you don't want to cut them. Anyway, this is a more colorful, like old ledger sheets with numbers on, some French writing um, sales slips, a part of a letter from 1920, um, you know, just different things, uh, old looking. And then this is like a tan and brown with gold dots in it. Are you seeing? Yeah, you can see the dots a little bit on the back. And there's two of those. Again, more more script all over writing, um, but this one, oh, this is my, well, maybe this is my favorite. The back of this is music sheet in gold with beautiful pink roses, green floral on it. It's just absolutely stunning, stunning. You know, I have to say, six months ago, I never thought I'd be this excited over paper. <laughs> oh my goodness. I clearly have an addiction. But And, and these are nice weight paper. They don't ever tell you what the weight is, I don't think. No. Um, anyway, I better get moving because this is already getting too long, I can tell. This is tan with brown, some aging, like fading on the corners, like a postcard had been there, stuck to it or something. And on the back is handwritten, um, I don't know what it is exactly, but they have underlines in red and things on it. So little splashes of color here and there. This is like one ad, newspaper ads, old newspaper ads, and on the back it's just a green with a cream, which I'm not crazy about that green but I like the newspaper ads. This is a wood grain, um, and this is a um, book print type thing on the back with some like coffee stain and paint splatter looking stuff on it. This is just looks like old 
real old crunchy newspaper, the old darker color. And on the back is a lighter with floral. Can you see the floral? There's two of those. Here's another beautiful paper. Floral. Um, product Sans Rival. I don't know. Has some bird, a bird down here. The back is pink with gold polka dots. Beautiful. This is all postcards and letters with a pink butterfly up here in the corner and some color, colorful stamps. There's little bits of light color in it throughout it. And then this is like a peachy color with little medallions you could cut out. Gorgeous. This is a blue on blue floral. I don't know if you can see the pattern. Um, and then this is like a tan with all gold script writing on it. Gorgeous. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And these are, again, cutouts, though, of postcards and things with butterflies down here at the end. And you know me and my butterflies. Um, and then there's one up here. I cannot see what that says. It, says. it looks like truly time. Truly thing. I don't know. Anyway, postcards and ledgers. Uh, and it's just a, a tannish, yellowish tan floral on the back. This one's gorgeous. It's like a salmon pink with gold foiling and it's got butterflies. Almost like a dam damask, but with butterfly. Um, I don't know if you're able to see that. And on the back is a lighter, faded, looks like it had scotch tape or whatever brand tape, you know, taping them together that you pe peeled off or it came off. And that's it, guys. Beautiful paper. Beautiful paper. That is a home run, in my opinion, and I can't wait to use it. And I have some ideas on using it. So that is one. Then this one actually I did not get on sale. Oh, that was, um, I think that was $19.99 on sale for $9.99, less 20%. Where's my receipt? I buried it. I buried it. And it was. No, it was $14.99 on sale for $9.99, and um, I got 20% off that. This one is called Mercury Glass Cardstock. Um, it is all shiny stuff, meant to look like mercury glass, and it was not on sale because it was $9.99. You only get six pieces, 16 pieces, excuse me. It is also DCWV. I'm not going to open it, but you get two silver. I don't know how to do this. This way. Two silver. Nope. Three silver. Four silver. Okay, this I guess is supposed to be like a rose gold. It sort of has like this crackly look to it. So let's see. One, two, three. Yep, four rose gold. This one's gold. One. Two, three, four, and then this one is copper, and that's also one, two, three, four, four though. So you get four each of what that what was four colors, so sixteen total. Beautiful, and they have oh, and on the back is a template for feathers because one of their ideas on the front. Uh, which I don't know if I'll use, but it's these different metallic feathers, and they cut them out and put them in frames. Another idea they had, which they didn't give you the pattern for, is these um, dimensional hearts that they have hanging, like for a party or something, which I don't go to many parties anymore. I'm not a very popular person. Can you tell? <laughs> um, anyway. Okay, then to the other stuff. I had ordered a while back online from Joann's, which I will never order online from Joann's again, ever. Hold me to that because I'm 
I can't do it. I get totally frustrated with them. Um, to the point where they missed, they said they shipped everything out to me. There were like eight items missing in a shipment, one of which was this. They said they resent it, canceled that other order, resent the stuff that was missing, and I never got it. So I said, cancel it, give me my money back. I'm not ordering from you ever again. That was like the sixth time I've had a problem with them. And it was sad because it was right after they got a different order, a smaller order, perfectly right. But this one, no. Anyway, this is the seasonal wreaths. And, and the sad thing is I really love Joanne's The Store. I do. I love The Store. I just can't order from them online. So they got to get their online inventory control or whatever fixed. And then I'll order online again. Um, anyway, it was $9.97 on sale, which is what it was online and it's Reese. You get a Christmas one, you get the pieces of paper and the patterns to make a Christmas one, a fall one, a Halloween one, and an Easter one. So I'm looking forward to doing that because I have never made a paper wreath before. And I guess here's uh, a pattern for the wreath and there's patterns for petals and leaves and different things back here. There's spiders, there's punch out uh, snowflakes and things. These are Christmas papers. There's some bats for Halloween and some black and purple. Spider webs on this one, if you can't see, but trust me. <laughs> Don't you hate when people tell you that? Just trust me. Did I mention I'm kind of shopping around for a car? I'm not rushing it, but the air conditioner in my car broke. And on today's like days like today, when it was 90 degrees Fahrenheit here and humid, I could have used an air conditioner. But it's cooling off. It's breezy out now. We're going to get rain tomorrow. So you know what? Except for taking Castor home sometime tomorrow, I'm staying in, guys. <laughs> I'm hoping to get my craft on, right? Anyway, that's that DIY project stack. This was in the clearance section. So this was not subject to the 20% off. Sometimes you get a better deal on the stuff not on clearance when they have 50% off and a 20% off coupon. Just saying. Anyway, they had other ones, other project stacks, and I decided not to get them because I already was spending too much money. Okay, then their loose paper. The stuff that is normally 79 cents or 99 cents was on sale for... 10 for two dollars, which works out to 20 cents. Lost my, lost my receipt again. Yes, works out to 20 cents a piece, which isn't bad. And then I got 20% off. So these papers I'm gonna show you were all 20 cents each. This one is called, now let me look at the back. I can't read the back, it's a coordinations paper. It's called Runway, but it's like a mall litter. Can you see it? Can I blame you? I got two of those. I love that color, and there's some colors in that other um, preserved, what's it called? Preserved paper stack that, that go with this, and some other papers that I have. I only got one sheet of this. This is American Crafts. It's part of the Color of Memory stack. It just has a number, 320315. It's all, it's white paper. It's fairly thin um, with all these vintage looking keys on it. Um, so I kind of thought that was cool. I love this one. I got two of these. I just love it. It's like, a, it looks sort of vintagey. It's got a faint floral in the background. Anyway, I just love the muted colors of it. It is by Paper Pizzazz, and it's called Tan Floral to Tapestry. Tan Floral Tapestry. Gorgeous. I love tapestry. I used to own a an antique tapestry sofa, um, but when I moved 
into this house. I couldn't fit it in here with my other furniture, so I actually had to get rid of several pieces of furniture, which, oh well, it's a piece of furniture, but I now have no unique, classy furniture. I have all stuff that's starting to fall apart. <laughs> oh, goodness. Like me. Paper pizzazz. This is called Crackle. I only got one, but it's just a neutral that could be used as a background. It's a fairly thin paper, and it does look crackly. I love this one. This is by American Craft. Uh, it's called, again, The Color of Memories. It's number 320491. And remember I said I can't stamp good sometimes? This has all kinds of sentiments, nice fall type colors, which I really like autumn and fall. I, the colors and things. I don't know why. And neutrals. I'm an earth uh, sign, so maybe that's why. And I always say I love turquoise, but I love earth tones too. So I need to start putting that on my IC cards. I do like earth tones. I can't necessarily wear them, like orange next to my face doesn't look good, but I do wear it once in a while. And it depends on the shade of it, you know? Anyway, I digress again. Um, so yeah, this is like, thank you, hello there, hello friend, thinking of you, a little envelope, which I love doing those, you know, I, you know, I do them all the time. Um, made with love, thank you, just for you, a heart, Congrats, an ampersand, and just some flowers and things. So I got two of them, and I will cut them apart, and I don't mind cutting them apart because they're white on the back. Love this. This is a Red Music Notes. It is by, it's Paper Pizzazz, it's called Red Music. It's a very deep, I hate to say it, but like blood red um, with black music notes all over it, but there's they're like splotched on. Love it. And then I got the regular music notes, tan music notes. I know they just call it music. It's also paper pizzazz. But it has a little bit of red here. So I thought on whatever project I do, I can put the red in the black with the tan with the red and it'll go. I got two of the tan with the red and one red. And then I got <laughs> another piece of script which actually looks like somebody was writing a manuscript. And um, this one is uh, Olive Script on Fossil. But I don't know the. Oh, it's DCWV. Excuse me. It's DCWV. Only piece of that I got. So that's gorgeous. I wish it had the. Um, it doesn't have the collection, it just has the name of it. I'll have to see if that matches my preserved paper because I don't know if you can get the collections in the singles and if you can I might go back and get some more of the other ones okay then these are shiny I wanted some gold metallic Ooh, you can see me oh no and some silver this is more like pearlized it's supposed to be metallic these were, <laughs> let me see, metallic silver texture. These were regular $249 on sale for $1.74 less 20%. The gold was regular $1.99 on sale for $1.39 less 20%. That right. Hmm. And this, these were eight and a half by eleven, but these were the regular seventy-nine cents I got for twenty cents each, which surprises me. They're called opal opulent, opulent opal. I think. Let me see. They're coordinations, opulent opal, and they're blingy. I love the way opal looks. Can you see that? Ooh, sparkly. I got two of them. Beautiful. I thought they'd be great for winter snowflakes or whatever. And they're like color changing, but not a whole lot, like opal is. And I think that is my Joanne's haul, guys. So what I'm going to have to do is go try and load this into my computer and erase it off my phone before I come back and film the next one. So 
Hugs and love to, love to everybody. I hope you're having a better start to your weekend than I am. But, um, it can only get better, right? I'm going to make the most of it and see what happens. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.